Jupiter Media presents Awasar Telecasting Global Opportunity Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sunil Kumar. I am working with Alliance University Bangalore. So normally what happens uh, in a university, you normally go overseas to many universities and colleges and the schools to make students aware what care options they are having in the world, especially with our university. So same purpose we had to visit Nepal and different schools. And for the purpose, we visited schools and just we made them aware what courses we do have and what courses they can choose with Alliance University. My university is Alliance University Bangalore. So this university is 25 years old university and uh, our flagship programs are like MBA, BBA. And we do have all the courses uh, from each area, management, commerce, law, engineering, science, liberal arts. And we have some unique courses as well. First time maybe in India and Asia as well. That courses we do have with the university. We look at the uh, education system, which I've seen that they have like all levels, like all countries have, starting from primary, middle, senior, secondary, higher, and then vocational and uh, universities, right? So what I've seen that uh, Nepal has roughly more than 35,000 schools, right, which includes private and public schools, and almost 1,400 plus colleges, right, in entire Nepal. So most of uh, schools are having similar kind of system, either in like our country we do have CBSC, ICSC and different boards. Even Nepali system is following the similar kind of system, but Nepali board I think they do have in, in this country. It's quite similar to like almost all the countries in the world. So what I would say the first thing what we see normally in the universities in infrastructure and facilities that, that we have at world level university we are in. And we do have all the facilities and infrastructure and the buildings. You, you talk about anything, labs, library, right? So those things, those things are at a world class level we do have. Apart from that, the second word we have the facilities for the students, right? So it's hostel, it is mass or canteen. We do have all facilities. Apart from that, if you look at our professors who are teaching to the students, they are having like different class in terms of their education and research they do have. So there, there is no compromise with the quality of any kind in the university. So when one student comes to the campus, they can experience that by themselves. So what we have normally, what is lacking in education system any, anywhere in the world, not everywhere now, but now they are trying to fill this gap. So what they have, there's lack of experiential learning with the students. They are learning theories in the classroom, but not practical things in the real life. So what we do, how we have blend of everything. We have classroom teaching where they understand the fundamentals of each and every course. Then they have insights with the industry and we call them industry leaders. They can give them insights that how industry works and what are the expectations in real life. Apart from that, they have projects. They have every kind of uh, co-curricular activities so they can learn by their leadership qualities itself. So those things we are having in the university, all the facilities so they can learn by doing by, by, by doing by by doing by themselves. So that is what they have in our campus. So what we have, we have like visit for the schools. So in that we have the partners, the, those partners facilitate us to visit schools so we can, students are aware now, so what we do have as a university. So this is quite good experience with the partner in Nepal as well. What happens, so they say there are different policies by our regulatory bodies, so we work with those policies as well. So students are studying with us when they go anywhere in the world. The degree is recognized by all institutions in the world in terms of the validity, in terms of the course structure, in terms of the credits they have, in terms of the system we follow. So it is acceptable everywhere in the world. There's, there's no doubt in that. The main purpose of Vijit was to just make the student aware about the university and the courses we offer. So now what we expect that if they are interested in the find the university is unique in nature in terms of courses. So we expect that students who are really interested, they should come to campus first, visit us, look at our facilities, professors, students, right? And then they make a decision. That's what we are expecting for the students. So they, they can come to our courses, right? And uh, we feel that so Nepal is a good place to like, promote a university and we can visit again. So we'll have more courses, right, as per the industry requirement. 
I would say to parents first before students because they are their right, makers from the inception of their birth on this earth. So they should ask them their words interest in which they are good. First find that and based on that let them do by themselves. And for the students what I would say right you sh should be rock star for yourself first. Learn the things which you like. Right? And don't, don't be a job seeker, be a job creator in the world, right? in a country, other countries, and maybe in the world. That, that's my message to my students, all the students in every country, especially for Nepal. I would like to thank uh, Nepal, Nepali schools and the promoters here and our partner here in the Nepal. Thank you so much for the opportunity. So we are learning a lot of things in Nepal as well. Like, thank you so much and keep in touch. Our sir, telecasting global opportunity.